intimidation and threats, they will be there. But the work has to go on and people need to know what is happening. Whether good or bad, it has to be told to the people the way it is. We are not free. We, are, we, we, we do not have the press freedom. I can say we just operate by the mercy of God that sometimes we can even be saved from criminal prosecution. Sometimes politicians will even threaten you with lawsuits because they believe you have no law backing you. But journalism has to thrive. The most urgent issue that needs to be addressed in my country, and as far as the journalism career is concerned, is to ensure that we have the access to information law enacted as soon as it can be. In our parliament, we do not have a good number of journalists that can stand for journalism in our country. And those members of parliament are the ones that put in place the laws. So to convince members of parliament who have no feel of what journalism is to enact these provisions of the law has been a challenge for us. And it's only then when we'll have press freedom, then we'll be able to report freely knowing that there is a law backing our work. On the 14th of June, 2013, when I witnessed the ruthless killing with live ammunition of two innocent Zambians east of Lusaka, which is our capital city, merely on a land dispute. That incident sent shivers in my life. Seeing an innocent person being killed in cold blood made me feel as though I too would also die in the same manner as those two men were killed. It was a challenge for me to report the story, removing emotions from it, having witnessed that particular incident, but the story had to be told as it had happened. What keeps me moving is the determination, focus, and passion for the journalism work. In all that I do, I always believe that the truth is the most cardinal thing and it's the only thing that would set me free and keep me going in my journalism work. Amid its threats, amid its harassment and intimidation, I still move on because I believe that my work is centered on nothing but the truth, true information that is accurate, verified to be factual, and for the benefit of the larger population that is the Zambian community. So for me, whether those that are reported about are happy, whether those that are reported about are not happy, as long as the story borders on the truth and the public interest, the public good. I will continue doing the story.